Good evening, folks. It's Diamond from the Oppenheimer Ranch Project. You're looking at a disaster scenario, the likes of which humanity will never see. This is a mock-up of a 1,000-mile-wide asteroid making impact with the planet Earth. This type of disaster has happened in the past, not at this grand scale in recent geologic history, but even the extinction event of the dinosaurs was minor compared to this mock-up. Now, this is a life-ending event for everything on the planet. And it would be epic. Now, what if I told you there are disasters that are imminent on the planet Earth? We know from the historical record that disasters occur all the time. Loss of life reaches the millions. And what if I told you these disasters are predictable and survivable? The event you're looking at here is not survivable and is made for Hollywood movies. But the events we're talking about are real. The sun that warms all the planets in the solar system is shutting down as it does every two, four, six, eight, and 800 and 1,000 years. And as the sun shuts down, the climate reacts in very strange ways. We have epic droughts. We have insane deluges. We have disasters. And I don't know if you're aware, but September is National Preparedness Month. It's National Preparedness Month. It's National Preparedness Month every September, every year. And this year is no different. President Donald Trump made a statement on August 31st about National Preparedness Month, and the mainstream media did not pick up on it. Now, the mainstream media is controlled by just six multinational corporations of globalists that could care less if you prepare now and learn how. But we're the exact opposite of the globalist elite. We're the enlightened dumpster divers at the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, where we want you to survive and thrive in the future that's coming. One that has no globalist elites. They'll be hiding in their bunkers, hoping that the masses do not find them. Now let's get on to National Preparedness Month 2018, which has been going on now for eight days. Disasters happen. Prepare now and learn how. And this video is going to give you the information you need to survive and thrive through any event. We have some of the most comprehensive lists and links to share with you, so stay with us. Now National Preparedness Month recognized each September provides an opportunity to remind us that we all must prepare ourselves and our families now and throughout the year. National Preparedness Month will focus on planning with an overarching theme, disasters happen. Prepare now and learn how. Now, thank you guys for joining us. This informational video could save your life. And it could save others' lives if the information gets shared. So share this video when you're done watching it. We're going to go over some of the basics on how people get motivated to prepare. See, most people aren't preparing. And if you go look at uh, some of the main talking points, preparedness is at the bottom of the list for all governments worldwide, except a few countries. And the mainstream media isn't warning you about preparedness month or getting prepared for any disasters. Yet they continue to spew their global warming nonsense and they don't tell you how to prepare for it except to pay your taxes. <laughs> As if that's going to save your arse.
Now, let's get back to people getting motivated to prepare because we need them to get motivated. People tend to get motivated to prepare when they see and hear consistent information about what to do frequently. Huh. Send them over to Oppenheimer Ranch Project. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. It's our mantra. Now, this includes many forums and many sources. So we're not the end all be all. We're just one of many. Some people like our format. Some don't. It's unimportant. The important thing is that this information is shared open source to the public and they can decide what to do with it. Now, people also get motivated to prepare when they see others like themselves getting prepared. That means if your neighbor sees you prepping in the garage and he says, what are you doing? You could probably tell him about why you're preparing. He might think you're a maniac, but at least he'll know not to knock on your door when he doesn't have any food because you'll shoot him. <laughs> now, people also get motivated to prepare when they talk about preparedness with people they know. If you talk about your family and discuss the benefits of preparing for any disaster, how could anyone disagree with you? Yeah, it's a bad idea that we're prepared with extra batteries and lights and food just in case. That's a terrible idea, said no one ever. Now, people also get motivated to prepare when they learn potential consequences and how to avoid them. And we're going to be talking about the consequences of not being prepared at the end of this video. So stay with us. Consider this video your disaster risk reduction management video. The only one you need. See how happy the people are jiggling up and down? Because your disaster risk, risk reduction management is here. It's coming in the links that follow. Now, there are two paths ahead, and each marked with a danger signpost. I don't know if you know, but the sun has gone very quiet in the last few years. And we are now at a crossroads, ladies and gentlemen. There are two paths that lie before us. Both are marked with a signpost that reads danger. Now, down one path lies a monstrous grid failure solar storm, which is going to light the world on fire and send us back into the Stone Age in an instant. Now, down the other path lies several decades of crushing cold temperatures and global famine, unrest, and war. And if either of these threats materialize, this nation will be hit blindsided because we are not a nation of preparedness. And both are related to the current state of the sun. I would also add that the waning magnetosphere really is putting us in the most harm's way for that solar storm. Now, the sun has been in grand maxima for most of the past century, and it has now entered a, a phase of grand minima. It's changing states. And we talk about it on the channel all the time. So if, if you watch the 700 videos that I put out over the last year, you could probably glean some information on what's happening with the sun. And as far as coronal mass ejections and the preparedness that the grid is about to fail because it's not hardened correctly, has been talked about by Lee Wilbarger and I at great lengths. Go look at some of those uh, interviews. And we're going to be talking about it as we move forward. And there'll be links to all this down below in the description box. Now, the Environmental Protection Agency has picked up on September as Preparedness Month. And that's not all. The Centers for Disease Control, the power of preparedness, prepare your health. Get your immune system boosted. Learn about holistic practices. Learn about herbs, ermal remedies. Learn about wild harvesting. The Federal Trade Commission knows about Natural Preparedness Month. <laughs> they want you to make a plan for your money in case the markets fail. The United States Computer Emergency Readiness Team knows about solar storms, and they want you to prepare for CMEs and other things that could affect your computer systems. The American Red Cross is aware it's National Preparedness Month. They want you to create a family game plan, and I do too. 
In an emergency, every second counts. That's why it's crucial to have a game plan, like a bug out plan. So you can get away from those insane masses, get out of harm's way, and get to safety. But if you don't practice it, you won't be prepared. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance in the future we're headed into. It's been all unicorns, rainbows, and candy canes for 100 plus years. And that's over. Now, let's talk about James Marusek. Impact. This is one of the most comprehensive dossiers coming out of breadandbutterscience.com ever for your preparedness. And we're going to go over it. It contains everything you need to survive and thrive in the event of any eventuality. And I'm going to leave you links to Impact below, which has links to everything you need, including the unified theory of stellar evolution and the theory of the infinite universe. Don't panic. <laughs> As some people do during an emergency, they panic and then glass sticks in their forehead and they look like stuntmen and not even women in these panic situations. It's insane. Rule number one, don't panic in any, under any and all circumstances. Now let's talk about impact. He gives a link to nuclear war survival skills. There's a book on nuclear war survival skills. During the times we're headed into, nuclear war is a possibility, 5 to 10%. It's good to know about things you need to do to prepare, including silver iodide tablets and other ways you can remediate re radiation. Getting out away from the blast is the best thing you can do. Now let's talk about this PDF coming from Future Science, Electromagnetic Pulse Protection by Jerry Emanuelson. This dossier here is exactly what it says. How to protect yourself from EMP. And it is quite extensive. And this will be linked below because this is preparedness month and we want you prepared. Now check this out, Mega Tsunami Survival Guide. This is a little higher percentage than nuclear war. We're talking 25% in your lifetime. A mega tsunami could hit Earth in the next two decades and could wipe out tens of millions in just a day. Now this PDF is a Mega Tsunami Threat Survival Guide. Practical things you should have in your house to survive a tsunami. Never say never. A mega tsunami hasn't happened for 150 years because during times of solar maximum, things are quiet. They have happened time and time again in the past, however. Solar, solar storm disaster preparedness plan. This is 100% going to happen in your future, and this needs to be read by everyone. 34 pages of the most important information you may read ever on how to protect your house, your electronics during a solar storm. Lee Wheelbarger and I talk about this at great length in all of our interviews. I will link those below. Solar Grand Minima Preparedness Plan, i.e. the Little Ice Age Preparedness Plan. This goes hand in hand with the Solar Storm Plan. They're going to happen at the same time. So shouldn't you know and be prepared for both? Don't panic. Panicking just gets you glass in the forehead. And it also makes you look like a man in a dress. It's totally insane when you panic. The Solar Grand Minimum Preparedness Plan, I printed this out and I offered it to the public at the last Observing the Frontier Conference. It is awesome. It will literally take you weeks to go through all these documents. Don't be overwhelmed. Take baby steps. Read a page at a time. You're going to read these documents over and over again. I have. If you want the information, you're going to go get it. And the final piece is the Everything Else Disaster preparedness plan, which you thought didn't even exist, but here it is, all 13 pages of everything else, asteroid and comet, nearby supernovas, massive solar storms, quiet sun grand minima, and on and on. Jet boat versus, versus sailboat. 
Are you prepared? If you want to know how things are going to unfold over the next two decades, check out how they unfolded back in the Dalton Minimum here. A, chronolo a chronological listing of early weather events from 1780 to 1820. The whole of the Dalton Minimum. You can see about crop loss, riots, famine, unrest, the massive snowstorm in Scotland of 1794-5. The Great Floods of China in 1800, and on and on. There is a lot to learn, a lot to know, and a lot to prepare for. The future is bright if you're prepared. It is bleak if you're not. So be prepared, not scared. The ring of fire is ringing. As predicted, earthquakes are increasing, and we're looking for a large magnitude earthquake to strike in the next four weeks. At around nine magnitude, that could spark a mega tsunami. Don't panic. Be prepared. Good place to start is My Patriot Supply. You can get the InstaFire for up to 57% off, the easiest fire you will ever light, and that way you can cook food emergency survival food that you can get at my patriot supply through this link you'll be supporting our channel the work we do on these videos and you'll be supporting your preparedness this these products have 25 year shelf life you can get a year supply in 20 totes for two thousand dollars Three month supply is for $4.97. There's a one month supply of food for $1.99 that comes with a survival vault of seeds. There's a price point for everyone to get started. Impact is all of the links you need to get started on preparedness. All the blue underlined areas are links to PDFs where you can learn more about preparing for solar storms, cold sun, impact, and other amazing things that are coming to a planet near you. And if you're prepared for the changes ahead, you're going to be well ahead of the game. Most important, don't panic like these people. Guys, I hope you got something out of the video. This has been a disaster risk reduction management video. Thanks to the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and people like you that continue to share these videos, our Patreons, our one-time donations, buying from My Patriot Supply. All of this continues to get this information out. Without it, I wouldn't be able to continue. I need to put food on my table. This is the bullet list on why people get motivated to prepare, and we need to spread this message. Continue to talk about preparedness. Continue to prepare out in the public. Don't tell them where you're storing it. <laughs> but those are things you'll learn as you go. It's all about disaster risk reduction management. And they have none of it. <laughs> and that's a boom. Be safe, everyone.